the world is coming undone. Rogue One, a Star Wars story, is absolutely fantastic. And to start off this review, I would like to say that with this review, I am not going to spoil anything that happens in the plot or anything that happens to the characters in the movie. If you wish to watch a full review that does have spoilers, the link will be down in the description box and also it will be at the end of this video. Anyway, let's jump right into this review. State your name for the record. Jen Urso. Now it has to be said that the last Star Wars movie we saw was last year with The Force Awakens. However, a lot of people have drawn this comparison saying that this means that Star Wars is now getting dumbed down and nobody's gonna... It's going to become one of those movies that's going to get run into the ground. However, I'd also like to point out that this is not an official Star Wars main canon movie. This actually takes place in between episodes 3 and 4. And it takes place with a whole new cast of characters, different actors. And while there are a ton of cameos, very good cameos, that really shine through in the film. There's also the fact that it's not based around those characters. It's not based around the main set of characters, it's based around the side set of characters that's part of the new extended universe. And it also has to be said that this is really the first movie that takes place in the extended universe. And it's pretty awesome. Up until this point, the extended universe has mainly existed through comics and video games. After Disney bought the license, they scrapped away the old extended universe. However, they brought back a little bit of it, saying that it's canonical. Everything that basically happens after episode 6, however, is called Star Wars Legends. They're Jedi stories. So we have Jyn Erso, who is basically our main character in this entire story. Even though that we have entire cast of characters, Jyn Erso is the main person that we are looking at and she is played by Felicity Jones who did an amazing job as her. I could really see her as this kind of rough and tough but with the slightly softer side kind of character who's been through hell and back. Now right off the bat you will notice that it's not your typical Star Wars movie whenever you first start watching it. There's something that happens at the very beginning that's very very different. I will let, lead that up to you guys to find out. You can go look at my full review over this. It has spoilers and everything if you do not mind spoilers. So a lot of people have been comparing this to The Empire Strikes Back saying that's the best movie since then. What is my personal opinion on this? It is not. Rogue One, what well, is an amazing film, very well shot, very well edited, very well produced. The directing was on point. The writing was dead on. It's not the best movie since Empire Strikes Back. So let's talk about the sound design. The sound design, like a lot of the other Star Wars movies, is very much on point. They really nailed sound design with this one. Everything that you hear sounds like you could actually be there. The explosions, the blaster fire, the fights in space. Everything you hear sounds like you could actually be there, which is very much the case with most of Star Wars movies. The sound design is usually on point, the music revs up when it needs to, and it tones down whenever it has to. Now let's talk special effects. Obviously, Star Wars is known for its special effects. It shows off a lot of good special effects. The special effects in this film are some of the best in all the movies. They're not too sleek, but they're not too gri grimy and nasty looking. I still believe that The Force Awakens has the best special effects out of the entire franchise. However, Rogue One did an amazing job with special effects. So in conclusion, my opinion on Rogue One, a Star Wars story. It's not your traditional Star Wars movie. It's very different. I think that this one is more for hardcore Star Wars fans. It's meant to kind of whet our appetite until we can get episode 8. It's well shot, well edited, well produced. The special effects are on point. The sound design again is on point. We have an amazing cast of characters played by very talented actors. The acting is amazing. 
there's banter and comedy and there's a lot of good stuff here if you are really into star wars i would recommend go checking this out however if you are not a huge fan of star wars you like it okay then this probably isn't the movie for you this one's really for the hardcore fans so anyway I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. It helps out a lot. If you want to see more from this review, make sure to click that annotation. It will take you to it. If you do not see it yet, I am still working on it. And tell a friend today about my Star Wars channel. May the Rebel Alliance live, and may the Force be with you. Always.